have it personally have against slabs. The slab takes up more room than the coin. And therefore, you're giving technically more preference to the slab than you are to the coin. And mentally, this is attacking people by saying the slab with the higher number has got to be rarer than the slab with the lower number because the number is bigger on there. You know? And the same thing with um, the size of a coin. Why do you think three cent silver and three cent nickel never really became 100% popular? Too small. Half times the same way, except they went back earlier in the two series. Gold dollars were collected, um, and then all of a sudden they ended up disappearing from the market. That's what made them scarce again. Did you know in Jamaica area, you know, it's the Caribbean, the, they used to, in the 1940s and 50s, they used to give away 13 gold dollars as a wedding gift. Because they only cost a few dollars a piece, and it was gold. And 13 is a particular number to them, whatever it means religiously or anything else. And they used to do that. And the Chinese, okay, used to only buy in the, uh, Liberty Headquarter Eagles. Because that was the coin they recognized when their fathers were over here digging railroad tra uh, tracks. And there was no, the Liberty Head was the only one out in circulation and the only one low enough in value that they could afford to hold. So they kept the two, Liberty two and a halves. It was a means of payment. So it's the same thing with three cent pieces. When they made two cent pieces, when certain things, when bread went up from a dot, one cent, from uh, uh, Benjamin Franklin's day, you'd get two loaves for a penny. In the middle, when you get up a little further in the 1830s, it was one cent a loaf. When you got up closer to the Civil War, it was two cents a loaf. So that's what they made the coins for.